Hello and welcome to your weekly horoscope forecast for week commencing the 31st of January. This is for the Sun or the Ascendant. Now what I'm going to do is provide a broad overview of what we can expect, but then as ever dive deep to give you in forensic detail the insights for each of the 12 zodiac signs. So please stay with me for that. This week begins with a sensational new moon in the sign of Aquarius. So what is a new moon? A new moon is an opportunity to set our intentions. We don't actually see the moon in the sky in most parts of the world. It's an opportunity, however, to really uh, direct our energies into the part of our situations that that particular new moon influences. So the sign of Aquarius is very much about the future, it's about friendships, collaboration and cooperation. So all those things can really come to the fore over the next four weeks. But this particular new moon also has, ironically, the two ruling planets or co-regents of Aquarius in somewhat of a quarrel. Saturn's part very close to the sun and the moon in Aquarius and Uranus, the higher octave, modern ruler of this sign, is on the fourth house cusp and that's very much to do with home family emotions but in terms of the overall zodiac Taurus is house two where Uranus is so I think if we're thinking of mixing business with pleasure it may not be the best over the next four weeks unless there's a, a very clear understanding of who does and contributes what and that could work okay but this week actually does see some glittering alliances, not least that Venus, the planet of love and affection, well that is going to be inching its way towards uh, a close conjunction with Mars, which really begins right at the end of this week. But Venus does forge, ironically, a beautiful link to Uranus. And then Mars, also in the sign of Capricorn, along with Venus, that's forging a very dynamic angle to Jupiter. Now when these two get together, uh, it really can give us greater self-confidence and drive. We're going with the flow, we're not so hesitant. It can give us that much more extra momentum and self-confidence and it comes into an exact sextile on Saturday towards the end of the week. But in relation to the other big influence of this week, that new moon, I think what it's saying to us is the sign of Aquarius can be quite idealistic and it's just saying that as long as we look for tangible results through that earthy energy that's being manifested through Venus and Mars in the sign of Capricorn in its or their link to Uranus in the sign of Taurus, as long as we look for earthy solutions and we're open-minded and we take the innovation of Aquarius, we can make progress. However, if we're too idealistic about what we expect, then that's when we may feel uh, like our wings are really being uh, clipped, that we're not flowing, things are not flowing quite as we want. So it's about staying grounded, but also open-minded. Now, if you're new to my channel, I'd be honored if you would subscribe. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. Also, if you'd like to get your free daily written horoscope fired to your device each morning, I've been writing these for 25 years, please see the link beneath this video and you can get that each morning and it would be lovely to have you with me. Also, if you'd like to take advantage of my special package, special offer package of a year's forecast and a character analysis and get 30% off, if you've yet to really get into more serious natal astrology, this is a wonderful opportunity to do so. You can ascend above this zodiac broadcast and really understand what things are going to unfold for you as an individual based on your time, date and place of birth over the next 12 months into the early part of 23. Hello Capricorn and welcome to your weekly horoscope for week commencing the 31st of January. This week begins with that new moon. A new moon gives us the opportunity to really think and set our intentions about the area of our life that it influences. In your case, it could be around friendships, which is very Aquarius, 
but it could also be about your personal values. And your ruler, Saturn, is parked very close to the Sun and the Moon. Saturn makes you someone uh, who thinks about things carefully. Yes, you were cautious in the early parts of your life, but you can be very playful and friendly and have a great sense of humour. And I think Saturn's just saying, I wouldn't be too quick to be too generous this week because Uranus is square into the sun. For example, if you were quite spontaneous about splashing out on something or helping someone who's going through a little bit of a difficult time, it may be something that could leave you with a sense of buyer's remorse. So slow things down a little bit when it comes to the expenditure. But if you've been working very hard to make your income uh, more stable, the next month gives you an even greater platform to progress forwards in that journey. Now, of course, Mercury rewound from uh, your sector of resources into your sign on the 26th, and it's uh, now going to go forwards in uh, Capricorn this Thursday. So something that you may have tried, may have stalled a little bit, Mercury going forwards and out of shadow by the end of this week, I think suggest that your ideas and your thinking will then become totally clear. Then you can really start to move forwards with much greater momentum. But there could be some kind of resistance that you encounter this week around money, but it's not that it's not, oh, you not, not something that you can't overcome because you can, because your passion, determination, flair, and pure sex appeal are going to be incredibly strong this week. So if you do encounter any resistance in any part of your situation, charm can win the day. And also just your sheer desire to improve your lot. But if you have got a very creative idea, a strand, a talent, embrace it. Because that could be the thing that could come in and support your income in a very positive way. Thank you.